Buenos dias, amigos, from Merida. Right, amigos, we have made it to Merida, Yucatan. Which is also deemed as? La Ciudad Blanca or the White City. But it sort of seems like it should actually be called the Sherbert City <laughs> because all of the buildings are um, very like pastel, spring colored, pinks, greens, uh, mints, things like that. Makes me want ice cream for Sherbert. Yeah. Founded by the Spanish in 1542 and built on top of the Mayan city of Tzoho? 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 I'm sorry I'm Tzoho. butchering that. <laughs> Though, this city is beautiful. Yeah, we're hanging out in the main plaza here, which is uh, similar to other main plazas. It's really, really big, tons of benches, lots of shade, plenty of pigeons to go around for all. <laughs> As we're wandering around this morning, it seemed to us that the actual downtown El Centro of Merida, Merida seems very large and that is because <laughs> it is the third largest downtown area in all of Latin America, only followed, only preceded rather by Mexico City and... Havana, na, 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 na. <laughs> we <laughs> didn't plan this. <laughs> Thanks to all of you, we have had the privilege and pleasure of traveling to, uh, I don't know if I can say many places in Mexico, but a few places in Mexico. Yeah. But Merida and possibly the Yucatan as a whole really is one of the more unique places we've seen. Yeah, it's very, very different here. And uh, <laughs> you guys have heard a lot of my adjectives before. <laughs> Beautiful, crazy, wow. But today we're gonna change things up a bit and let you guys decide what the city looks like. Cue the B-roll. Amazing, wow. Whoa, super. 
<laughs> Usually we are the ones that say are, are, are saying that. I don't know. What do you think? Comment below. Let us know what you think of Medida. What do we need to see? What do we need to do? Yeah, we really don't know much about the city. We honestly do not know Very much. Surprised. We're getting to know the city, and hopefully, uh, if you don't know Medida, you will be following along with us, getting to know the city getting lost. as we do. <laughs> we do. <laughs> getting to know the city and getting lost with us. do know about the city of Merida, here are a few fun facts. <laughs> the first fun fact is that um, it is said that Merida is the oldest continually inhabited city in the Americas. Some historians believe. However, <laughs> we also read that about Cholula, the city near Puebla. Yes. So, you gotta, gotta take what you read on the interwebs with a grain of salt. Super fun fact, Mexico City is one of the is one of the oldest, not the oldest, but it's in like the top five, which is crazy to me. Second fun fact. <laughs> Second fun fact, around a million people live here. I believe the last number we saw from several years ago was around 800,000. It is a big city. It feels like a big city too. Uh, no walking streets, <laughs> which uh, for Loetta is, uh, that's strike number one. No, but it is very busy. Uh, lots of lots of fast moving streets, which seems to be different than any other like downtown central area. But no walking streets. There is Paseo Montejo, which leads into our next fun fact. Around the turn of the 20th century, uh, they said that Merida may have had the most millionaires of any city in the entire world, and that is truly evident on this street that is lined with mansions mansions I don't know other than Highland Park near Dallas I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like these I don't know if they need a renter but we're in we could house sit that thing yeah couldn't keep it clean but we could sit it <laughs> I think you all have been begging us to come to Merida since we started our channel yes. a, a year and a half ago. We are so glad to finally be here. The Yucatan, the Yucatan, Yucatan. Merida, with it being separated really from the rest of the country, it really is a lot different than other places we've been. Yeah. Hopefully we've been able to show you that the architecture, the, even the, like, Okay, there's old churches, but even the style of those old churches is much different. Very different from anything we've seen. Say Morelia, San Miguel de Allende, uh, Mexico City. Mexico City. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just it's completely different. Hill, any last first impressions? First of impressions are it's a little bit warm. I don't know if we've been <laughs> on that, but it's, uh, it's quite warm here. It is hot. It is 10 a.m. We got up at six to film this video because. Yes. It's gonna rain later, I think. We knew we had to get up and film. We're going to be in Merida for around 14 to 15 days, so we have plenty of time to get to know the city, plenty of time to get to yes. know you, plenty of time to get to know amig nuestros amigos yucatanos. Meridanos. Meri Mericanos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's really bad. Uh, it is. We are going to try and see some archaeological sites. We're gonna try and see some cenotes. Let us know what we need to see. Yes. What we need to eat. What we need to see, what we need to eat, especially yes. just just let us know what we need to eat. Forget all the other stuff. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell that we get notified. Every time. We upload a Yucatan video. <laughs> and we will see you guys. Mañanita from Merida. Probably really early or really late because it's hot. We wimps. <laughs>